Pagtak mo talaga? Oh. <laughs> Sige, muna lang kayo magtakbo. Mag <laughs> <laughs> Maghabo lang ako sa inyo. <laughs> Hindi ako magtakbo. Ito kong laglag. Hmm. Anong takbo kahit? Ako walking lang ang gusto ko. Ayan, ala, nakakapasok na pala yung iba. So, this is... Ah! Ito na siya ngayon. Pwede pa lang pumapasok muna tayo. Sandali lang. Pwede nga pumasok? Bakit ganito yung papasukan? Ah! Ito yung sa ano? Uh, Manila Yacht Club So punta ka at punta tayo dun later on On this side naman Ganda ng ano, clouds. On this side, we'll see. Yeah. So, doon na part sa dulo. Doon na part. Diyan na part yung naging trending before. Because of um, they're rehabilitating the uh, the babe uh, ang tawag doon the boulevard para it could become more um, pleasant wala na yung mga basura okay so we're gonna go back to or hindi pala go back punta na kami dun tara let's So, um, um, there are a lot of people who are normally uh, staying here or going here for a run, for a job or for a walk, for a breath of fresh air. Tagpo na kayo. Doon lang tayo mag-abot ha sa ano. Sa may CCP lang. Uh, okay ka lang guys? Okay lang ako. Oo. Yung na sila. Jogging na sila. This is the Manila Yacht Club. Ay, 
nakapasok ay saan siya ganda na oh ganda ng ano oh clouds yun yung mga yat and all so yun siya nasa wala ako nagpunta let's let's just walk walk first on this side on the left you see the bank of central Pilipinas or the central bank of the Philippines and where am I supposed to go let me know where I'm going to go the left or the right wala na yung mga kasama ko hindi yun na nila ako so this is a vertical garden tingnan mo diba they're trying to make use of the the space available yan so but that's by the DENR and the MMDAR the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority but I'm questioning myself. Look at that. It's so nice. Yeah. Marami namang nagbabike dito. Ewan ko ba? I'm not sure. Parang dun sa dulo sa kabilang side, you can rent bike. Or something. Better view of the Manila Yacht Club. Of course, only elite people would normally come here. Stop ko muna ako. Kama na ako ng picture guys ha. So that's the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. So you can have a look at it from this side. Oh, marami nagdadining dito sa ano. I think a lot of people are going on the earth or sailing on a yacht today you can see a lot of cars parked in the Manila Yacht Club so yun siya and uh, just in front of the BSP building or the Central Bank building is the uh, Metropolitan Museum.
exclusive membership so there's a bike lane pala so the bike lane ah so ito sa baba yung bike lane and bike lane yung may ano parang road tas sa right side na yung sa right side na yung uh, pedestrian and just beside the uh, Manila Yacht Club is it's the Philippine Navy so they were just like right next to the Manila Yacht Club okay to walking keep walking keep 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 walking keep walking saan ito? ah yun na metro ah yun na sinasabi ko earlier um it was like just in front of the BSB building there the Metropolitan Museum of Manila Okay Sa ito na, harap naman ng ng Metropolitan Museum of Manila yung Philippine Navy, they have a helicopter here so I think this is a nice place to walk or to jog or to bike or to run because this is, this is really designed for for this kind of activities Right. Some people are bring their pets here. And then, ito na yung entrance na uh, Philippine Navy. Mung dagat ng Pilipina. Uh, and right in front of it, across the Rojas Boulevard is I think one of the most modern Philippine government building and you know what's the name of the building it's the most modern I think because the name says it all that is oh that's the Department of Finance the name says it all. Maybe on the other side you can have a look at it. You can get a better view. Ito na yung mga Navy. I'm sure maraming mga pogi dito. Sila zero. Bye, Philippine Navy. Ito na. I love Navy. I think uh pa mabasa dito, no? So again, that's the Department of Finance. I thought. Uh, see that? It's very modern. Glass. Glass walls. So the Department of Finance. 
here. I'm gonna go here. friend ko nag running na sila and just beside the department of finance is I think the main building of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas Say goodbye to Filipino okay. So this is the main, I think the main building of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Uh, later on you will get to see, uh, because they have a, they did a 3D mapping so or I'm not sure if it's really 3D mapping or what but uh, later on you, you'll get to see a, a, a projector 3D mapping projection or something at, uh, on that side on that on these walls and uh, if you can observe that's what I'm telling you what, what, what I was talking about um, so in front of these two very old buildings is that very modern building glass walls that's the department of finance <laughs> the name says it all so this is currently the sun, uh, a sunday vibe here in rojas boulevard and uh, of course with the with the present situation that we're at um, this this is normally busy but because of the pandemic people are hindered or barred to to move around uh, unless you are following the health protocols so right in front of this Banco Central and Filipinas uh, our hotel buildings I mean, uh, beside Banco Central and Pilipinas, our hotel buildings. And I, before I forget, I think this, this is a very, very good uh, branding. This word, Manila. I think, um, yeah, it creates a glimpse of uh, what uh, this city is. And it's very important that uh, you put a landmark. Because, you know, this will be used by people all over social media for promotion like promotional activities and exposure so I think uh, it's, it's nice that they have it here uh, it has an impact for me so there are hotel buildings over there and uh, just, I, just as I remembered um, that's Hotel Gen Hotel Gen Manila that's where my friend Ben was staying when he went over when he went here during the pandemic, that was like uh, November, and he was stayed there because it's, it's a quarantine hotel, so they're very strict over there. And of course, uh, I'd like to show to you what's in front of this. It's a very beautiful view. This is the cultural center of the Philippines. And there's like a, a park here where people would have a good time spend uh, you know spend uh, their Sunday afternoons with friends and family all, or all, all by themselves so I'll we'll go back here to show to you a little bit of the uh, the entrance uh, there are a lot of people here mostly uh, those who are trying to get out of boredom from their daily chores and also try to uh, to get some air. So from the uh, from the uh, Philippine Navy building, 
we go straight here and uh, we will see the entrance of the uh, cultural center of the food. So this is the entrance. I think they, they, they normally, this is a lead wall. So they would normally put here um, what's being shown at the, at the center. The theater. So this looks real, real nice here. You could spend some time here if you really like to, you know, just sit down and, and contemplate and breathe. So I'm going to wait for my friends here. Bakay niyo na nila ako. So this is a very good view right here in, a, in the middle of uh, the city, the capital of the Philippines. Ah, my journey ng alpa ko was uh, quite a long walk. It's not really long. <laughs> it was just like a, a little bit over uh, one kilometer, but but still. Someone was like trying to play around. So there, are, as you know, there are also a lot of vendors, street vendors here, and um, street children and homeless people who are all trying to make ends meet. I wanted to go there right away, but. Uh, so it's just a little bit of the park. So we have a lot of trees here. Cleaner air, per se. So there's like uh, an art installation over here. Looks nice. So so a landmark something people take pictures and post it, post it on their social media profiles so that's over the entrance of the cultural center of the Philippines so I think uh, just this is an open space it's very feasible for uh, for running for exercise So I'll just go back here because I need to wait for my friends before we go to the uh, Bayside. Pinsha. So I'll just sit around first and wait for my friends if they would ever come back. I hope they will because <laughs> I'm all alone walking around. So I have a lot of friends. I think they uh, went a long way to the other side so I'm just going to I'm just going to um, to the bay side na lang to work it out. Hi. Hi. I need to go here and uh, see the sunset. Oh my God! I think it's almost done. Tagal kasi ng mga friends ko Jogging-jogging pa sila Kala mo naman magaganda yung mga katawan Charot Okay So this is the other side of the Manila Yacht Club Hindi ko alam anong tawag nung ano 
parang dry dock parang, uh, maybe it's a dry dock something on this side naman you can do rod fishing but you're only allowed um, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. I remember during the, uh, there was one time when uh, we went fishing in Samal Island in in, uh, in Davao, and I was like really frustrated because I didn't really get a, I didn't get a, I didn't catch a fish, and it's very very frustrating. So I stayed on the on the boat for the whole day and until I got burned my skin was burned from too much exposure to the sun so just want to show this to you Yeah, so as you can see, there's a lot of uh, yachts around here. The mga mamahalin na uh, they are uh, they're on dock. They're docked. And at this side, also as you can see, nakikita mo yung mga gandang mga yate, and then there are options for eating. So malamig ka makita ng food establishments like. Um, Starbucks, uh, Mang Inasal, Jollibee, um, ito, Iceberg, and uh, many other else. Okay, McDonald's and uh, even uh, restaurants like Sol Gyupsal, Korean, and uh, many mga Japanese. And then a lot of families also come here and enjoy this part of, of this park. And then yung iba naman. They would opt to, you know, bring their uh, fur babies while watching this beautiful view. Ayan, I mean, can we really ever get to experience that when uh, we're on the other parts of the Philippines? Maybe yes, but most likely a lot of uh, these rich people in this country is actually dito dito nakapalob yung mga ibang yaman nila where they will enjoy uh, sailing and yachting ito yung mga fur babies nila that you can actually watch and they dress it up maybe they wanted to earn money by having photos of them mga yung mga ano gusto makapicture maybe lang I really don't know this is right side yung mga restaurants food options that you can have so that uh, you'd enjoy staying over and uh, at this point one of the bigger uh, seaside restaurants where friends uh, colleagues uh, would come over and uh, enjoy good food and good drinks some cold beer perhaps over this view so I was like when I was in Ituan in Seoul what I did uh, was uh, I went to this uh, street side uh, coffee shop, I ordered the uh, coffee, and just stayed there for hours, watching uh, watching the city and watching people come and go. It's like uh, crowd watching, 
So I think it's uh, you get to see a lot of people. You get to see what they wear. You get to see how what uh, their smile, the smiles on their faces. People who are frowning with their problems, with the problems they're carrying, and uh, many other things. But. So I think it's nice. I think you get to see a lot of people's expressions. You get to see a lot of people's tastes. You get to see a lot of people's decisions. The decisions that they make today or on that very day um, on which which uh, outfit to wear, which shoes to wear, what style of hair, and many other things. I think it's nice. I think for me it's refreshing. I'm not sure if, uh, if you would like that, but. Yeah. And at this side, uh, these are bigger restaurants, uh, seaside restaurants, where uh, co workers, colleagues, families, and friends would come over and have this delightful view while having dinner. So I think it's always best to come here uh, before sunset so that uh, while you're enjoying your. Uh, your pork liempo or your ice cold San Miguel beer you can have that beautiful sunset view so we are on our way and checking these places and this is how it would look like during the evening time still beautiful and amazing This is the other side of Manila Bay. Uh, still under construction, so it's still dark and there's still a lot of uh, workers over here. Alright, so we're going to cross now here at uh, Pedestrian Lane, fronting uh, the fountain and the. Uh... Malate, Malate Church? Oh, Malate Church. Oh, fronting Malate Church. Malate Circle. Malate Circle? Ano Circle? Fountain? Sarot. Okay, so... Let's go na. Ang ano? So... So when we were walking on, on, the, on our way here, may nakita kami uh, massage, parang street side massage. So we saw we saw them. That's, that's the same like uh, in uh, in Simrip and in uh, Bali, in Phuket, the same. Like if people are tired of walking, uh, touring around, you can get a massage, a quick uh, quick fix to your sore muscles This was once the nightlife capital of Manila. I 
which is uh, Malate, the center of Malate, the center of nightlife. But now, because of the pandemic, a lot of restaurants were closed. And this is their image circle. Uwi na tayo, diretso. It's a cafe Adriatic. So this is the Magis Circle and the fountain and um, then a lot of Korean, Japanese and Chinese restaurants in the area. I see this used to be a hub. It's like a lot of uh, Koreans and Japanese would come here to enjoy the night after a very long and exhausting day. So most here are Chinese food and uh, Korean and Japanese. Okay. 